Hello, this is Lewis Michael. And this is Gabrielle Christensen, your co-host. And welcome to the podcast. Welcome to Geek Around Light. Gabby couldn't be here today, but we're going to do a quick overview of Windows 11. Microsoft did a event, a small event for their new operating system. And since we did Apple event and we'll be doing the E3 event for the main podcast, I figure we do the Microsoft event. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the links in the description or show notes. There's a lot of great things in there. Um, you can get the webcomic, the Geeking Around webcomic, as well as my um, Star Wars comic, Kira, a Star Wars story, online clothing. We can get Geeking Around logo and our avatar launch, many other stuff. So make sure to check all that out and let's get on with talking about Windows 11. Okay, so here's some, a list of some of the features that Microsoft announced at the Windows 11 event. So this will be a free upgrade. That's really cool. And it seems like it's a smaller update too. Don't need to um, do, it, it shouldn't take long it seems like, but a little quick thing. Sleek on more productive design, snap layout, snap groups, bring next level test switching, a better gaming experience, fast on personalized news for all, a brand new Microsoft store, Android apps are coming to the Microsoft store, faster connectivity with Microsoft teams windows 11 will just will get just one annual feature update per year okay so plus everything to talk about is the sleek and more productive design as you can see here in the photo everything's a lot more simple and sleek on and just looks so much more modern um being a mac user um i would say that this takes a lot from it was inspired by mac but i still think it's like has its own unique um look to it and I, I really like it and it um like one thing i always dislike about windows and before on mac is that it just it just seems like with windows when i go to use a windows pc it just seems like i'm doing the boring work stuff you know you know windows 10 is, is a very powerful and great operating system and in many ways is better than what mac os is but it just seems so outdated it seems like like i said it, it meant for the boring um, workload and where Mac OS always kind of had that more modern, a pleasing, sleek look. And so it's always seemed like it was a little bit not as daunting of a work task to work on Mac OS. I really like the, the new style and design. I really enjoyed it. Next feature is snap layout, snap groups, bring next level task switching to Windows 11. So, um, so they have always kind of had this in it, but it was kind of weird how you had to do it. So what you would, what you can do, as you can see here in pictures, each one of these little box is a window. So you can have two of them and a, and a split view, equal two of them. Then you have one where you can have one to his side, one big one, but one small one. Then you have three all equally sized, or you can have three, one big and two small, one, or all four, and then um, three, with the middle being a little bit big on with mac os they only had these two right here the false two which is great and all but like sometimes there are times where you need three and these other ones could really be in handy so i really like how they are doing this and like on the ipad on the ipad you can get like like two split screens and then you can have the slide over and come from the side but you can't have the all at the exact same time 
time. And this pretty much allows you to do some of the shortcomings that is found in Mac OS. This is really cool. I can see myself using this every single day because I always use um, split screens and stuff every day on my Mac and stuff. When I didn't use the um, Sophos, um, the Sophos book, for the longest time I, I did a lot of the um, split screens. So, But it was always kind of weird how you could do it. So they really improved that. So as you can see here, you can see um, PowerPoint and Edge. I believe that is Teams right there. So you're running three different apps at the same time. And I think a really good experience make it a lot more productive. Next is um, a better gaming experience. So a lot of stuff under the hood came with Windows 11. Um, one of the new technology for this is um, Direct X12 Ultimate. So this allowed the user to access realistic graphics while keeping up with the higher frame rate. Auto HDR will give gamers assets to a more wider to a wider more vivid range of colors because I think before you had to download an app and do other things and but it would be automatically integrated with Game Pass or the Xbox app like I remember like with my Surface book even though it's a Microsoft I still had to download like weird um software to get my xbox 360 or xbox one controller to work on on that to play games and stuff and these are made by microsoft they should be able to synchronize with each other easily and this is one of those and i, I think later on with the surface products they did have they did change that and this is another thing that they are doing to make it even that much more better with gaming everyone knows if you want to game with a computer you gotta get PC not a Mac <laughs> so faster and personalized news for all I don't really read a lot of news but again going back to the layout design and stuff it really nice you can see here that everything neatly redesigned and yeah all of that and like I said I'm not really into reading the news or looking at the weather on my computer or anything I kind of more do that on my phone but for the people that does do it on the Windows machines this is a great thing like I said I, I'm, I'm digging the layout and design so a brand new Microsoft store so they went and redesigned the app store and um, one thing I know that they made it so much easier for developers to develop apps for the store and get our stuff on there um, just like the rest of on windows 11 and got an update on design and it looks so much better and not so outdated as before and yeah i think there was a lot more behind the scene kind of stuff under the hood kind of stuff that was happening with the um microsoft store that is very beneficial to developers and stuff i think they really talked about here and android apps are coming to the microsoft Soft store so before I believe you have to have um, a Pacific app to bring Android apps um, to your PC and that was just putting whatever you have on your phone your Android phone to your PC so yeah Android apps uh, if you want some apps that to have on your phone that um, you don't have on your PC you can download from the Microsoft store um, this is um, Amazon um, App Store and not like um, actual like the Google Play or anything like that where people would thought when they first say that. But yeah, I think this kind of opens up a new things to PC users that simply just want an app. Fast on connectivity with Microsoft Teams. So I'm not quite sure what they mean by this, a faster connectivity, because um, I just saw them open up Microsoft Teams then calling somebody and that was like that was about it and i was like is, is that what you could have always done so i'm not quite sure what they mean by fast on way of doing this um well a, a new improvement to microsoft teams is great because you know with the pandemic and stuff and we're kind of out of that but people are performing to stay at home and do remote work and this will be one this has been uh, microsoft teams have been something that um, they a lot of workplaces have been using to um connect with their team members and stuff and just get something like that and 
There you go. Windows 11 would get just one annual feature update per year. Okay, so um, so Microsoft will offer only a feature update per year with Windows 11. With Windows 10, they are rolling out two feature updates every year. Microsoft Microsoft said that they won't tinkle with the regular updates for patches and fixes out. We often report with various Windows activities and updates. Okay, um, so I mean, I I think that fine. Um, Apple that what Apple does and stuff so I mean that's I don't see that being a big big deal um, but yeah I they didn't seem to talk a lot about I, I swear there was a lot more to this um one thing I know and I guess maybe they talked about up here in the um snap no, I'm not seeing it, but um, but they did announce this new thing called um Voltron Desktop, where you can have like a Voltron Desktop, where you can um have a whole bunch of your apps or program um run on this Voltron Desktop. Then you have another Voltron Desktop running a completely different one. I I myself use that a lot on my Mac, where I um. A lot of times when I'm writing our reviews for the podcast, I will have like Safari, like YouTube, because a lot of them are usually a, a video, a movie and stuff. So I'm looking at like clips of it or like Netflix or whatever it is open up there. And I have um pages, Apple pages, where I write the review at and, and stuff. And then when I'm working on the reviews, I'm also working on the um, Geek Around um, webcomic as well. So I have that in a different um, Voltron desktop where I have when well, I primarily use um, Clip Studio Paint to um, do all my artwork and stuff. And I use like Apple Pages to write the script. So I use that and usually have a Safari open to look up references and stuff to help draw. Yeah, I think well, it's not that big of a update really but um i think this is a very welcome and i think everyone gonna be very happy with these updates um everything they did give was good and i think we're gonna see a lot more stuff coming our way from microsoft and also i want to say congratulations to microsoft who is now the second company to become a trillion dollar company apple is false i thought google was one too and i'm sure like disney and amazon is up there as well facebook maybe i swear i thought i had google up there but hey um microsoft is up there now and and that's great uh, i know i'm more of a apple fan board but at my old job where i worked with gabby at the printing company we i actually had to work um professionally both with windows and mac laptops or computers i mean i had one mac laptop and yeah there's a lot of things that windows does that mac os doesn't do and there's a lot of things that mac os does that windows doesn't do or um there's things that they just do each one of them do better than the other one. You know, I mentioned how I really like that the snapping thing as way better on than what you can get on Mac OS. And but at the time before this, Mac OS had a better one than what um Windows 10 had. So it kind of back and forth a lot of times on some of the features. But but yeah, well that's all I have for today. Um, thank you for listening. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out those links and tell your friends about us. We get a lot of we're up to 237 i think it was can't quite remember and like each one of our, our um videos are getting i think not quite a thousand views each video but somewhere around 800 900 so we starting to um get some traction here and so um but yeah make sure you like and subscribe check out those links especially the web comics and our online stores and stuff it really helps us out when you um you um check those things out and and always make sure you're looking for like um kickstart on I, I said i do comic books and so um so make sure you always be listening and looking in the description for that not working on anything right now but i will be soon so thanks everyone see ya